what's going on youtube welcome back to the third and final edition of this week's friday night football um i guess videos if you watched the first two you know i played noah you know i played alan and those are some great games so if you haven't checked them out go check them out now but now we are under the final boss the finals of the fnf 1k against ctg cleft the god and yeah he's one of the most ma consistent madden pros there is you know he's dabbling into the content side of things as well so mu much much respect to clef and what he's you know what he stands for as right here i believe this is our first time matching up on the year every time we play it's always a hell game so i mean this is the first time we're gonna match up you know it is a hell game so stick to the end make some comments uh comment what you think the final score is gonna be and i might have something for you guys who knows no escape artists allowed in this tournament it's right here we are gonna hit moss first play but Clef is using a bunch of KO abilities. I believe that was Casey Hayward with the KO knockdown. Um, I'm going to show his abilities sometime soon. Forgive me for that. I see right here. I'm going to check his uh, abilities. He had one step, deep route KO, and mid zone, uh, mid route KO. So, you know, he has man abilities, uh, one step. You know, not everyone uses one step in this game. Clef, with that new 20 AP system on defense, decided, you know what? I want to use some man abilities. I want to run a lot of man coverage. That's what you'll see. He's going to be running a lot of man coverage this game. Uh, we are West Coast hosts. We have our hosts on this game. So that we're definitely in the advantage on that part. It's right here. Um, you know, Sean Taylor actually bagged that in route really, really well. But, you know, we, we still were able to throw it. He didn't have an acrobat there. And we end up getting, what, like six yards. So, you know, fourth and four early. Um, you know, it is going to be a little sweaty right here. We are going to go to the patented four verticals. And we are just going to low ball right at him. And honestly, he made a hell of a play with his safety. But we all know how those low ball wheel routes work. Um, and he also doesn't have like acrobat or nothing on his up top guy. So that's something else I'm looking at right now. Right here, easy slant. I want to say Clef wasn't using like maybe any acros. Um, once more, I'm going to check his abilities a little later. Yeah, but like that guy right there could have accurate for that. But, you know, I threw it with confidence. This first drive has been going pretty well, um, if I say so myself. Right here, running a little bit of tight slots. I'm going to I'm gonna run tight slots a lot in this game. Because if someone's spamming man, the best way to attack that is running tight. You know, having slants on the field, deep posts, deep corners, crossing routes. Tight is very hard to run man against. Uh, just do the alignment and you know do the all the motioning and all that see right here i'm audibling again to tight and we are going to run a similar type of play that we just called uh, this time though we are going to hit triangle y whatever buddy you want to call randy moss on that post let me know if you guys like the no escape artist gameplay i feel like this gameplay plays very smooth as you know um, none of us had to worry about it you know it is nice having escape artists in certain areas of the field this being one of them the red zone I do I definitely struggle, um, you know, in the red zone a little bit. But, you know, with escape, I feel like I get sevens all the time, as you should. But, you know, I will definitely take the sacrifice of not playing with escape uh, if my opponent doesn't have it either. It's just such a nuisance. There's too many things to account for. And as of late, everyone's been hosting these no escape artist tournaments. So definitely the meta right now, definitely the wave. And, you know, if, um, if you want to play in these tournaments, and you've been using escape maybe you know for a week or maybe for like a couple days try not using escape because trust me when i say this a lot of people who like been running escape for the longest as in like you know these past two three four months they are low-key uh hashtag escape made i guess i could say in the simplest terms they need escape they're struggling without escape and you know do yourself a favor get those reps without escape in just in case you get you know put onto the main stage you know friday night football is a pretty big event man it's a weekly event a thousand dollars in your pocket just for playing five madden games i'd say that's a pretty big event so do yourself the favor get those reps in just in case you know you end up in one of these tournaments um you could get the job done but you see right here like i was saying my red zone is a little sus right now i'm definitely not happy with the way i've been playing red zone offense but um i ran i decided to run the ball three times very very passive play call but i'm not too mad at it and we'll see later why I'm not too mad at it. Just, you know, if you keep watching this game, it's, something's going to happen later on. And I'm going to bring it back to this uh, specific moment where, you know, I kicked the three. So right here, guys, I'm in 3 wide. Clef is in bunch. He's going to run a lot of tie in this game, but he's going to run bunch. And I get bombed. Air McNair goes up top to Randy Cooper, and he has a perfect journal to the right side. Great stuff by Clef. Um, not getting tackled right there because, you know, inside the five, inside the 10 yard line, like I just said, it gets tough to score inside the red zone without escape. So great journal by him. I definitely messed up my coverage. I came on the wrong play. I wanted to come out of Mike Blitz three right there. 
I don't I, I could have gotten burnt either way but I think the coverage that came out in was a little more revealing and um, you know was more su susceptible to getting bombed as you see right there I got bombed Mari Cooper and just like that you know th I had a really nice drive you know I was sweating on my last drive and then I only, only end up getting three it's the worst feeling when someone just goes down and throws the streak so you know, we, we we live when we learn I'll make sure to account for that later on in the game you know I had to make I had got to get seven right here on this drive if he gets ball at half it's a huge drive we get three again or even no points that would be kind of tough to win this game See right here, we are gonna throw this corner out dot. He has no acros once more. If I don't see acros up top, I am gonna throw at your safeties with the utmost confidence. Once more, we are rocking in this Raiders tour mini scheme coming to y'all soon. Be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna start working on it today. It's right here. We have the post. We throw it on the run. Randall Cunningham, in my opinion, the best quarterback in the game, delivers a dart. I kind of had a little bad pocket right there. I'm not gonna lie. I ran, walked into you know a blitzer. I could have definitely gotten an under pressure and accurate. I could have definitely got sacked. Thankfully, none of those things happened. And just like that, already 17 first quarter points. Uh, this is indicating a shootout, man, all the way 100%. And that's what Madden 22 is. It's just a bunch of shootouts, man. Mutt, regs, you name the mode, it's a shootout. It's right here. We play really good defense. He low-key had the verticals wheel route, but, you know, by then the pressure had came in. And, um, you know, it was just great defense all around the board. We'll take that second down and 10. And I'm going to definitely get really adjusty coming up soon. Um, he's been showing me a lot of bunch. So his first two plays, he was in bunch. He is going to now audible into the tight you see right here. And this is where he's going to make his magic for the rest of the game. He is going to audible the bunch here and there and run some bunch plays as, you know, bunch is so good. I do not blame him. But for the rest of the game, he is going to be running tight. As see right here, this is our chance to get our pick. And that would have been clutch. Instead, he ags us. And what he ends up doing after that, I'm kind of distraught, man. I'm kind of upset after that. Of course, anyone would be upset. He goes no huddle. And, you know, I'm not really ready for it. I'm not really ready for it. Um, I'm starting to adjust low key. He goes no huddle. And then I just have a terrible user. Kind of distraught about the last play. And he just throws a dot. So great, you know, great dot right there. The, the, the play before, I can't really say it was a dot. Um, it was going to be open, but he had thrown it across his body. I do think I could should have picked that off. Nonetheless, should have made it incomplete pass. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't really get too mad about it. And, you know, 17 first quarter points turns into 24. So, I mean, like, bro, this is going to be a shootout all the way. I'm telling you. Right here, guys, we're going to hit bunch trail and we drop it. He has deep route KOs, uh, mid route KOs and one steps all across the board. So, you know, I'm not too mad that I dropped it. I do feel like I had some separation. Um, I just don't know what to do right there. Uh, besides having deep out of lead, I don't know what, whether you want to rack catch it or possession catch it. I try to uh, possession catch it right there because sometimes you get that diving animation and you don't drop it. Or sometimes just in general, you don't drop it. That's right here, guys. We are going back to verticals. And this is a little risky of a read, but we click on make a great wide catch. And that's the thing. He doesn't have any acros. He could have 100% made me drop that pass, but I would have been fine with it. Instead, somehow... You know, we kind of get a little fluky. Um, I feel like, you know, that wasn't even as bad as the play he had. So, you know, I feel like in my eyes, uh, you know, it's, it's all good right now. That's all good. Let's just get back to cooking up right here. Flood out route to the left sideline. Um, and that's Casey Hayward getting abused once more. And once more, we're going to flood. Once more, we are going to flood out route open. Excuse me. Tight end route open. And, you know, right here, I, I really want to score super badly, uh, especially after getting stopped in the red zone on my first drive. We're gonna just no huddle base and it gets the job done. You know, it gets the job done. We get to all the way to the two yard line. Not saying, you know, we scored, but the thing is like, down here in the two, I have four chances to get seven. And you know, with Jimmy jumping, with goal line, um, with all these type of runs in Raiders playbook, the job gets done. Like it's super easy to score inside like the five. The, the problem with me is like when I'm outside the five yard line, um, I know I, I, could, I could low ball the wheel route always, but I feel like sometimes it gets a little risky. Nonetheless, 17-14, we, we are up. He gets ball at half, so we're going to have to play this last three minutes, 30 seconds pretty smart. Right here, he's running post wheel track. I have really good zone drops. I have a man up. The thing is, I didn't press. So he throws that great pass, great dot. The thing is, he gets cheated. And that's a pretty big play, in my opinion. Um, it was first down, but bro, he would have already been in field goal range. His pacing right now is kind of incredible. You know, he's scoring very, very fast. I know he's only scored twice, but you know, the pace that he's playing at is a very fast pace. And you know, sometimes I want to slow down right here. We are going to start playing better defense. See right here. Phenomenal defense. If you ask me, I could have got an acrobat, 
he undercuts us wide catches it right at my uh people i had three people in the vicinity um you know that's just that's just a good play by his user you know i'm not gonna ask for the pick but i definitely could have got an acro on that i feel like but nonetheless good play by him he's gonna run the ball here the smart decision uh to start taking some of this time i call a timeout man i don't want him to you know play at this two clock pace um i just i don't know i like his pacing right now like once clef gets in his pacing mode it is kind of tough to uh stop him so i don't want him to get all momentum and be at this crazy up tempo pace so you know i call a timeout i kind of slow things down and right here he missed the read he missed the read he should have thrown that i know it was a post drop he should have thrown the post like a streak it would have been a touchdown or if he would even lob this post it would have been a touchdown so i, I definitely dodge a bullet right here hopefully we can make it count by holding him to three getting a stop one of those things definitely uh, cannot afford to give up seven right here once more really good defense now we're starting to dial in and you know recognize his plays he loves calling post wheel drag once he goes to tight he loves calling flood so i'm definitely ready for those uh you know big bomb plays i have like 25 curl flats ted hendrix if you want to peep him on the right side he's in curl right here 20 curl let's see what he does right here great read just a sleepy user man very very sleepy user um the thing is though you know um he didn't get seven it's all good right now i feel like i could slow him down a little bit in the red zone the thing is he hasn't been in the red zone yet so you know i feel like i could play a little bit of good defense down here hopefully holding the three uh that was i couldn't have asked for better defense right there i just had a very sleep user um and you know just air mcnair slinger one release the ball gets there so fast sometimes you kind of forget like dang slinger one it really is a i would say a glitch like on passes intermediate and short passes you know obviously you get that crazy wind up on deep passes i see right here we have ted hendricks in that zone we can make a play manned up that was, was very good defense if you ask me um i'll take i'm happy with that result of the play you know no touchdown um no pick you know i would have loved to pick somehow there but you know we just played good defense you know we made it where it was just a tough throw and i'll take that any day of the week is right here we are gonna be running some you know send five defense he sent out five and no one came in free i you guys i can't stress enough how much i like get so upset and distraught when that happens he sent out five it was a great play and it was a great read by him the thing is i need pressure by then and i'm taking the risk or if he's taking the risk of sending out five i need him to you know get screamed at or you know even get a sack and throw out a sack whatever throw away whatever i need him to get a little pressure feel a little pressure as of right now guys this isn't you know the best scenario for us if he does score like right now type of thing we will have a chance to get some points before half but the thing is you know he's milking it down he's taking it down and like i said you know i'm happy with playing some goal line defense i know i struggle sometimes in the red zone so i already know other people may as well it's right here good defense he throws the ball away and it stops the clock most important thing right here great defense i love this defense um it was pretty much a three wreck a hook curl manned up cover two he ends up actually switching out of it and throwing a dot he should have fell down that would have been super super clutch by him but nonetheless he ends up scoring another sleep user i kind of wasn't ready for tight i should have been and that's that air mcnair slinger one release he just he just slung that thing uh slaying that thing right like just so fast bro like i can't even go there and use it i see it's open i just can't go there and use it same type of thing with the wheel route to the running back earlier but it's all good because we could still get three the bare minimum with this one minute seven seconds like, he ended up bagging us on first down but we run flood and his man routes bump into each other flood is a great play versus man-to-man -man coverage um the out routes get open the in route gets open the, the flag gets open and if they run a cover zero type of look without shading man coverage on man coverage bumps into each other flood is a great play if you know someone's running cover zero and not shading or shading underneath because there's like rub routes right the in route uh, the out route r1 out route rubs into you know the streak and it causes a touchdown sometimes it's not like a like a proven thing but it definitely happens a lot when you run flood so you know definitely call flood it's one of the best plays in the game um i'm glad i'm on the flood wave now there's like you know i wasn't calling it for the longest time i don't know why it really is like an easy breed and a great play one of the best plays honestly it's definitely like a top five play in this game but so how easy it is to make a read on it and just you know it's great for clocking and all that so definitely call flood if you haven't been calling it guys right here we play great defense again and we can't get the send five pressure man that's what i was talking about um i'm not mad at it that time because i wasn't hovering i was mid play adjusting cleft quick hike this 
and you know um, i just wasn't able to get my hover off but see right here i'm in my hover spot now enough is enough i'm getting kind of irritated i need to get my pressure when i send five he's in bunch right here we send the pressure and there it is it comes home free great defense by us he's gonna throw this ball away and you know we'll take that we will take that mind you guys clef does get ball a half so if he gets seven right here it's gonna be a little tough for us to win this game uh, right here we play great defense we do send two the thing is you know we get pressure money max with the sack uh he had the left flat open and now it's pretty much gonna ensure you know just man up the the deep routes and we're gonna go into half tie game at the you know very least um i sent two he does have post ups but we were able to still scream money max is a glitch if you have a raider same team please put max crosby at dt and watch him work trust me guys uh it is a glitch it's right here kick is up kick is good 24 all halftime i'll catch you guys out of half this is the biggest drive of the game guys uh 24 all the pace of this drive is going to indicate you know who's going to win this game who's going to get ball last all that type of stuff right here not the way i want to start out half i played very good defense right there he max protected um and i played max coverage the thing was my user got bumped in on one of those routes um, that's the only thing I had to use her. If I used it that, it would have been a throwaway, a sack, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I just wasn't able to get there. It's all good, though. I, I'm starting to play better defense right here. See right here, good defense. He pass leads it up, and Charles Woodson swats it out. So good defense right there. I'll take that. If he passed that at the sideline, it would have been a dot. But, um, you know, I think my user was kind of in the vicinity. So I guess I understand why he uh, passed that it up right here running a little bit of cover four cover four is needed sometimes and we get pressure we finally get a little pressure and i'll take that any day of the week it caused him to throw that fly route low early he gets what three four yards on that i'll take that compared to what some other people get yards on that flat against me like it, it's crazy dudes break tackles dudes run right by me get 20 30 yards i'm thinking of allen when i say that right here clef's gonna flip his bunch i'm in the cover one robber um i actually don't have a three wreck on the field i have a purple on the left and i get scream team pressure we need an acrobat moss i should have maybe not clicked on i should have maybe shaded underneath there's so many things i could have done right there nonetheless man moss on a slant Devonte adam cooks him i'm not mad at it man i would have loved an acrobat there or you know swat animation one or the other but you know he gets a nice rack and it is what it is move on to the next play those plays you just got to live with man it was a third down um and what six and you know it was a close call i got pressure he had to force a read and it was a close call right there good read by clef uh man to man that's the flood route i'm telling you about that out route absolutely torches man right here cover two right side and we get good pressure but look at slinger one man i feel like i'm there and i'm just not there man i'm not there i know you can say the same thing with gen 3 but bro i really thought okay you know what i'm just gonna you know hover user the running back and be good he insta throws a running back and it was tough right here underrated play man huge huge play by julio jones i shot the gap he actually loses a yard so that was a huge play and he's gonna go in goal line once more i'm not too sure about this play call um really i'm not too sure about this play call i use her pollard right here i'm thinking it's gonna be a pass i'm really am thinking this is gonna be a pass he runs another fullback dive and thankfully you know we are able to get a crazy shed because julio jones our safety or last line of defense was kind of back in the end zone so if he gets past this right there there's no one there julio would have came in in time but he, he was a little slow to the party and right here he is going for it so remember this play remember what i was talking about in the first quarter i took my three i was expecting him to take his three but he's gonna decide to go for it and this is why i kicked my three we are gonna try to lock up right here um it's just really one thing is i don't trust my red zone but look at julio jones he he made crazy plays this drive and he makes another one right there he low-key had the left wheel route wide open my user was not there could julio jones get out of there Eric mcnair is hauling ass and we are gone julio jones um pick artist uh deep route ko or whatever is a deep out zone ko and then acrobat but he throws that angle route julio jones not even acrobat not even an acrobat that's that five yard vert hook excuse me that's that five yard three wreck one of the best zones in the game i love that zone so much and it goes crazy for us right there so definitely a huge turn of events right there um he ends up going from you know having the lead having seven having three to now i have the lead and now he's going to be chasing points because it's looking like i might get the ball last so we'll just see what this next drive holds but man huge sequence of events right there
as you see right here i'm trying to play better defense third and nine right here we see verticals coming we run man coverage we have a great user we hit stick him and he catches it man backfield mismatch really is that ability uh it's glitched ability see right there i absolutely laid him out with bernard pollard and he was still able to hang on to it but he made the right read man i had another sleepy user i was not expecting him to throw that however it's right here once more look at that slinger one uh wheel route release i mean it's just so hard to use it it's so hard to guard it so hard to use it right here guys this play had me thinking dang mcnair might be him um i was so like shocked that he threw that i felt like i was there but him rolling out to the right a little bit and throwing it on the run made it you know made it like where it was just only he could catch it and i was surprised because you know we all know mcnair doesn't have the best or at least slinger one qbs they don't have the best throwing the run release and he threw absolute dots so mcnair is that guy uh, my top three qbs right now is probably going to be like you know cunningham mcnair no particular order see right here my dudes are falling over each other that would have been very nice to make that tackle i was there i was there there was like two three guys there we all fell over each other if you re want to rewind that and that would have been nice because it would have been a third down and goal we don't know if he would have scored or you know whatever would have happened but the thing is the clock would have been dripping the clock would have been dripping so it's my last ball it's my ball last and you know i'm able to clock him out so i wish i was able to make that tackle but it's all good but back to what i was saying my top three qb is probably cunningham uh mcnair no particular order and then i mean i don't know i don't know who else you could put probably like name it honestly because he's a field general but you know there's some crazy crack qbs right now you can't go wrong with any option i feel like right there he's gonna onside it to prevent me from clocking him out but trust me i'm in a raiders tour i'm gonna try my best to clock this game out i do not want him to get ball last he's moving at too high of a pace he has 400 passing yards um you know let me try to make this last try right here we are gonna start with an inside zone out of the bunch tight end formation and you know we get like three four yards very happy with that right here we run off tackle we don't get too many yards but our main purpose of that is to clock them out see right there seven rushes 10 yards we really haven't been had any success running the ball right here we're going to go with a little bit of flood ski uh out route to the right tight end route was open early i missed the read but cunningham says i got you pop cunningham says i got you pop and he ends up getting the first down for us so far so good you know we uh we are making this potentially last drive right here good amount of yards once more the key to clocking is if you get a couple you know couple yards on first down it makes it so much easier right here guys we are gonna once more call base and wow very very fortunate by us um i would have been a third down nonetheless either way it wouldn't have been like fourth or nothing but he kind of like got look that's why we use eric dickerson fluky shit happens when you use eric dickerson that is exactly why we use him inside zone right here i wanted to cut it back left side but he ran commit as he should have right there right here we are going to call flood and i uh had our one open i didn't really want to throw that um we get hit behind the line of scrimmage thankfully we didn't fumble i want to say we were on conservative but nonetheless thankfully we did not fumble and this is it man if we get a first down right here we are going to secure victory um let's just see what happens four verticals wheel routes for the cheese and we lowball it get the first maybe is this gonna be a first we're gonna have to see that where they spot it and yes we get the first i had i think r1 open but the thing is i did not want to score i did not want to score so we made the proper read we lowballed it right at his zone defender man defender and lowball wheel routes i will be happy when they're gone next year but you know they are really good for clocking in these type of scenarios so we are gonna drip this all the way down run the ball three times he's gonna have like about 20 seconds still I'll, I'll, and you know it's gonna be kind of tough but you know we do get three right here i'm gonna skip it to when he has a ball with 20 seconds left it's kind of crazy i was able to take that much time off from the 40 yard line it just goes to show madden 22 is all about clocking right here kick is up kick is good and it goes all the way down to 14 seconds which is huge um we're gonna squib kick this um to the fullback and from there we're just gonna have to play a little bit of defense and when, excuse me, I didn't mean to say squib kick. I meant to say sky kick. I see right here, sky kick to the fullback. And um, he is going to actually get this and fall down immediately. So, you know, it's not the worst for him. Two seconds definitely is a lot of time, but he ends up getting to the 25 at least. Guys, I'm running this edge blitz loop defense. That way he's not able to leave the pocket. I know he doesn't have escape, but anything can happen, right? 
McNair is still fast. We have 30s. We're running a cover three. The right side of the field low key is open with uh, Devontae Adams, but my user is going to run back there if I see him on a streak. I should have 100% moved this third to the inside of the field, but it doesn't matter. Money Max gets to the money, man. And he could have had some routes open. I'm not going to lie, but nonetheless, Money Max does what he does and just screams for your boy. And that was only a three second play, so that could have been worse for him, but um you know if th if this play is a, is, a, is a miss then we are gonna win i just gotta play the sidelines i hear i've covered four i man up one guy with randy moss because he has deep route ko you know if, if it comes down to us like a sideline animation i believe my guy might hit it out cover four with 30s um two contained so he can't leave the pocket i know he has post us but you know if, even if he has a long developing play that's a w for us right here we just run backwards and there's just nothing there man there's nothing there um and he ends up not even getting any yards right there so it's looking like we are going to win this game we're going to hop in the prevent and try to end this game see right here guys he's going to run pa dig fork he's just going to hit a uh throw the post and you know no pis please no pis at all and that's it a friday night football 1k victory uh and a reinvite again they're having a summer series type of event where you know the more victories you get, you know, adds up into points into a final little tourney they're going to host. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm already insured in a top 14 spot. I'll, I'll have more info on that in the more FNF videos that I drop. But there it is. FNF 1K. We get the job done. It'd be Noah, Allen, and Clef. Very hell. Very, very hell. But, you know, it's all good. That's the type of Madden I love. Till next time, guys. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button. I know it was a longer video. My FNF videos, I mean, this is just my thought process, right? So hopefully you did enjoy it. Let's run up the views. Uh, 125 likes, 150 likes, and I'll drop that Raiders mini scheme ASAP. I know y'all want to see that. Till next time, guys, I'll catch you. Stay up, stay blessed. We signing out. Peace.